goal was to get out in front and go as hard as you can until you have to come to pit road. We heard Denny Hamlin. No, I'm yeah, sorry. Chase Elliott in his interviews said we just want to be the first. Oh, that's right. Oh man, big wreck. Oh, again, oh, again. Oh, that's impact. a 24 of William Byron. That's AJ Hardy. The 16 involved as well. Let's see if he's okay. Yeah, he's still on the gas. Got T bone. Got knocked Caution around. Caution has come oh, out good. as those two cars have stopped. Yeah, that's on the back stretch after they exited turn two. Almendinger is rolling once again. Still waiting for the AMC, excuse me, AMR safety crew to get to William Byron. Over the radio. William Byron has talked to his team already. There's the AMR safety crew getting to William. We talk a lot about you know the fame of this racetrack and the historic nature because it is front and center. But yeah, you've mentioned it a few times. It's just overall speed. We've seen over 200 miles an hour football field the second at the end of these long straightaways. And it's not very wide. I mean, you look, there's a little bit of grass for that soft wall, so you can get more than one hit, right? You can get the outside and inside wall. These restarts, we see how important track position is. And that means when these restarts, that's your time to get it. That's your chance to go make something happen. Good shot there of seeing William well, climb out of the car. Here's how it happened. Well, somebody got into the right rear of... Looked like the 22 potentially of Logano behind him. It looked like there was two cars, or, 12, side, or two cars, or three cars, three wide. Let's take a look right here. You see, oh, you're going to see it right here. The 21, 41, and 24. So the 41, if we back that up and watch that one more time, the 41 is trying to get three wide between the 21 and the 24, trying to make it three wide. I don't believe Harrison Burton or William Byron knew that they were three wide. This would be a great look right here. Okay. Each other there. So he's in his right rear quarter panel. Uh, You're right. It was just everybody. Yeah, all three cars. Here you go. Here's a great shot of it, Steve. Yeah. So run. Stop it right there. Stop it right there. So the four, the 14 car, He's they're touching. Those two cars, the 24 and the 14, they're hitting each other there. It's still contact, and here comes the 41, and they make he makes contact. It's just those three cars trying to go in the same spot, but it started with the 14 of Briscoe and, and Byron making contact. They were pushing and shoving, and the 21 of Harrison was exiting the corner like he was too wide. He doesn't know that the 41's in there. So, I mean, this is why Brickyard winner himself. He knows this place. And, yeah, and you see his frustration, and he sees it as like, you know, why, why is this happening back here? But these restarts, if you watch... And if that's the case, he would have been on the DVP and he would be out of this race if they were uh, behind the wall. I wish your leader right now. Go take a 10-year increments. Jeff Gordon won at 94. He won a... This was the reason for the caution. Big hit for the 24 of William Byron. The 16 caught up in it as well as the 21. All three of those cars are off the track. Clears the nine. Bob Walsh, Chase Elliott going for the lead. Joe Logano trying to get on the outside. Joe Logano back there. Now with the third. Look at Denny Hamlin. away from him. Denny Hamlin on the outside. He is definitely the fastest car on this lap after the restart as he is up to third. And Denny caught those two guys side by side and that just absolutely destroyed their speed. He took advantage of it. Now the seven out of the lane. Yeah, poor the joy. Totally missed the turn. Yeah, he's got to get his speed recovered here. He's under attack. This Rebel now trying to get alongside. Shift, staying high gear. 38 with a scheduled pit stop. Has to come to pit road for fuel. Kim going to be very close to losing a lap. Yeah, absolutely. They told him as long as he could keep pace, they were going to keep him out. He could go longer on fuel than Kyle Busch had, so they were on a slightly different strategy, even though they stopped last on lap 38. Todd just saying, it's just a little bit tight. I mean, four fresh Goodyear tires there. I'm going to wait a little bit on that fuel right there. So now we 
you see the 38 leave, remember he's on that strategy of how many pit stops. We heard the five needing to save gas because this now going by the scoring pylon still has about 15 pit stalls to go. On the top, on the walls, at speed, nearly 200 miles an hour down the front stretch. I just don't see the 38 staying on the lead lap here. And then when he goes down a lap, this throws the strategy out the window. So I understood the plan, but the execution, just not what the 38 needs going down a lap is going to end this opportunity at a one stop from here to race. Bubba Wallace is out front in the 23 for the Rickyard 400 being chased by Elliot Hamlin, Logano and Blaney.